Does anybody have any of the old uh, mining equipment in a museum or anything from here? here? Yeah. Any of the buckets or anything? No. no. Oh, it's too bad. We pulled out ladders from the. So you guys, you didn't bring a light. You can go go back there. If you go down there, you shoot off to the right, and around the corner down there, you, it goes down about 15 feet, and the rest is blocked off. But these, these shafts, they got some good ore out of too. Is that some up there? Uh, it might be a little bit in there, sure. Can we go in? You can, yeah. Oh wow, there's a lot. We periodically clean this. Okay. Well, we will get to that eventually. Spider webs. Whoa. Oh, look, there's a lot of them here. Yeah, some people have been digging a little bit. There's definitely little specks of silver that have been dug out. <laughs> I don't know if I can get a light on or not. There's a little... Yeah, oh, it goes all the way through, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably got silver in it. Are we going to get some? Can we break some off? Well, there's pieces on the ground. Well, we'll, we'll go look after we do our little tour here. Wow, a lot of mosquitoes here. I'm is going back to the other side. Dad, is this silver? Probably shished. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm recording, so. Yeah, cool. A lot of skeeters. I, I, I saw this little piece and I thought there was silver in it. There is. I chipped off a little corner of that. There's quartz crystal there and there's there's silver right there. See it on there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. And these and these are crystals that were forming right along this edge. If you look close and over here. You see that? Oh yeah. Next pit. No one's gonna dig that out unless they're finding something. Exploratory pit. Now remember, down here we'll go last. That's the quarry from the French and Indian War. But up here, right off to the side of there's there's about ten Indian pits, and these pits are from the 1670s to the early 1700s. No one's ever done an archaeological dig up here. We have found Indian artifacts, though. We found spearheads. You can see the size of them better. The foliage is gone. This pit goes down about 15 feet. And I'm sure over 300 years that that bowl down there, which is pretty big, probably has another five feet worth of material that could have been excavated out to find it. There's silver up here in the perimeters, but you'd have to dig in. Nobody ever bothers doing that because there's too much to find over there. Um, we found Indian artifacts in this pit in particular. Up on the sides, we found spear tips when we first came here, mm -hmm. but nobody's ever done any exploration. Mm -hmm. Here's another pit, above that's another one. Above that's another one. Over there's three more up there on the top. And they just run consecutively like they were following the silver path. And they're all over the place, dotted from here all the way back. They're everywhere. They're everywhere up here. Cool. Other minerals can be found up here too. The wolfsonites are found in a track line up here. Yeah. But you have to go up to the very top of the pit on the last one up there, which which can be gotten to, but that's where the where the wolfenite crystals are, and there there's tens of thousands of them up there, impressed in the dolomite. It's almost like 40% crystals and and 60% dolomite, which that doesn't happen with wolfenite any other place. Mm -hmm. uh, but we had them tested at F and M, so we know what they are. It's either a new mineral species to the world because of the high content of dolomite. But it, it showed in the spectrum, it showed pure wolfenite. So there was a, a huge spike on the wolfenites. Cool. 
That is neat, Chris. No, no major mining was ever done up here, even though they found the, the silver on the surface that ran down 10 to 15 feet possibly. Um, no major excavation ever happened here after the Indians were gone because they found what they found over there, which was better. And they, they followed the money, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, they're gonna look for the bigger yeah. deposit. Correct. This is all periphery. It's all- Don't mess that mine. It's all on the top. Everything up here was all on the surface. Massive amount of quartz up here. So when they started making the spear tips, if you were up in these woods and you could see scratch down, it's nothing but quartz. So very easy to come up here. And this is what, where the, what they would do. Probably every every week, every month, they would spend days up here, make, a, make 50 spear tips, make 100. Probably some that they used to trade. But would there? That, that was an easy thing to do, but they needed it for themselves. Have you ever heard of the... Um... The feldspar that sometimes come alongside of quartz, the horn, I think horn belt or horn blend. No, 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 no. Uh, horn blade, horn blade, a uh, feldspar. It's a whiter feldspar, sometimes runs alongside with quartz and the Native well, Americans have, would have, make arrows out of that. up here in this, in this Ordovician. This is all Ordovician age on top of the, of this is Cambrian age quartz. Hmm. And in Ordovician, we have this schist the fillite that's up here in the feldspars is where you find all your other minerals up here. It's usually an orange uh, or yellowish. Yeah, not an orangish. Or yeah, like that. a little bit light orange. Other elements were up here that provide that color. No, I don't think anybody's ever analyzed it beyond that because we, we're looking for the crystals up here. Yeah. I mean, the feldspar is just feldspar. Yeah, it makes crystals too. They use it in um, uh, when they process metals you know um kind of like lime you know to to draw out certain metals and stuff too i understand yeah <laughs> yeah this is a little rough our friend would have probably not done this they could have stayed down here while we went up and waited here for yeah us. yeah this, this whole this whole escarpment here was man-made this was a natural hill that probably went 25 feet over our head, 20 feet, and then sloped down to the creek. This is all the quarry, what's left of the quarry. Minus all the foliage here, you would see all the rock walls everywhere. And when and they were here, they, they used to double jack this with uh, black powder. So what you had to do is you had two guys with big sledgehammers. I don't know how many pounds they were, maybe 10 or 15 pounds, they were big. And they, one guy would hold the spike and the other guy would hammer it and you would take turns doing that because it's an arduous thing to do. When the last guys were here, and they wrote about this in the, in the British records, so we know they were here. They didn't have GPS, but they mileaged how far they were from Philadelphia. And this is the only place. Yeah. But when they left here, they left the double jack drills in the wall up here, if you look in the wall. So around 1762, 61. The last two double jack guys knocked them into the wall and left them there. That's the drill. That's cool. See them? Yeah. Nobody knows they're there. Yeah. I found stuff like that at other mines. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Really cool. If they hadn't left them there, we wouldn't be sure. Yeah. I and mean, we have their records, but that's the only proof that we have that they were double jacking here with black powder. Right. So were there people hurt here? Probably. Yeah. You do a you, you put in black powder and you blow it. You better be in the right place right. far enough away and around the rock somewhere or you get hit by those yeah. shards and you get killed. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So most likely for this going on for nine years to blast this out, probably people got hurt. Yeah. Maybe they didn't even have a doctor with them. Right. You don't you don't know. don't know. Yeah. So you're hurt, you're done. Well, I think when they were building the dam, um, Kaiser, he uh, he built a hospital because he was losing so many people from injuries that he couldn't replace the workers and train them quick enough. So Quartz is trying to grow crystals, and this is Dolestone. He built a hospital, basically, and that, now Kaiser is a hospital instead of a steel mill. Not out your way, though, is it? It's a hospital out in California. They have some in Washington, not in Idaho. Um, 
They have them in Colorado. Um, Why did you guys end up in Idaho? Lead ore possibly here. Okay. Look at it. Yeah. Look at how much they, they blasted out of there. Yeah, that's huge. Huge cavity there. Goes back about uh, 60 feet maybe. Yeah, that's that's nice yellow mica there. Up at the Indian quarries, there's you can get big 10 pound pieces of that stuff. 50 pound pieces up that's there. Okay. So just imagine all the work that had to be done to blast that out. Yeah. What they were blasting out was, was the quartz that was here. And you see most of that over there is your dole stone with just a little bit of quartz. Yeah. So this must have been massive quartz to pay this much attention to this to get this out of here. They scraped it clean. And one last thing before we leave and head out up again. We'll go this way because I'll show you the old, the ancient kiln that's over here. No one knows it's here because it was never excavated out. This was used during the French and Indian War and it was used in the 1870s and then it was abandoned. There's a lime kiln right down below us, but that had nothing to do with the silver mine operation. Right here is the top of the kiln. This is the kiln. This is just a lime kiln. It doesn't lime. have anything to do with the silver mine itself or getting the, the melt out. Cool. You know, you heard you heard you get the lead out. <laughs> that was because all the silver, you had to get the lead out to make yeah. it silver. Yeah. That's where that expression came from. In the and I thought it was just getting my Led Zeppelin records out so I could rock out. <laughs> so they were using this in the French Indian Wars? Not this not one. The, oh, not this not one. that oh, okay. one. This was the former Farmers. making, oh. making um, lime. Okay. Down here, I'll show you the remnants of the, of the one that was actually used here. You can barely tell it's there. Nobody ever did any restoration work or anything. Most people didn't, don't even know it's here. This is all silver ore under here under all of this. All of this, if it was ever dug out. There was enough ore here for for tourists to come for a thousand years and get stuff. They oh, can you get going. his shirt? Can you get Chris's shirt? Oh, where's my shirt? <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm almost dead on battery. <laughs> we get a lot of material to go through. Do you have a charger? Uh, yeah, back in the car. I'm good. I'm not sure if there's a French. French and Indian War, 1870. Nobody ever did anything to the kiln. And the location is all but gone. And the only markers we have. You can see it in the winter, though. With all this down, you can actually see it in the winter. Some stacked stones in here, no cement. Right. And about a uh, hundred feet from the picnic tables and the barbecue thing, up right in this area is where we think it is. But uh, pretty hard to locate at you this can't, point. You can't this time of year. But anyway, in here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, here we go. See the stones up there? Oh, okay. Yeah. There they are. Yep, yep. You can see they're layered. It looks like... Right. See, we find old... Uh, up in this one area, I find Chinese areas that are like that. Where you they... See the stone? Yeah. The wall back there. I don't know if anybody can then, see them. And it actually has arms that come out part way. Mm. Yeah. And nobody's ever done anything to fix it. Very hard to see, but those stone stones are actually stacked on each other back there. Of the silver and lead in here, still buried right under. below this beautiful tree here. So yeah, there can be residue in here and who knows what else. It would be great to have that restored or marked. To actually create a supply and send it out. Yeah. They didn't want to keep bringing it from England. Yeah. Right, right. I want to cool. thank Chris and uh, for giving us all the history of this wonderful area, the mine and the kilns and the Indian uh, digs and the quarries and um, everything else. I want to thank you. And if you wanted to give a shout out to your um, the rock club and the rock group, that'd be great too. Well, I've been doing this for 45 years, so I guess I am the expert on the property. I was a tour guide here when I was a kid. And we had a campground on this 300 acres. We had country music concerts here, so I got to meet all the stars from back in the 80s and late 70s. That was a kind of a fun thing to do, but the place has a deep, integral history that goes back to William Penn's time. 
and uh, that's all here on this property which is a place for anybody to come and go visit and you can't come here for two or three hours you'd have to stay here and you'd have to, to see one thing at a time and it would take a day or two or even more to do it favorably for your for what your time invested is but anyone that finds me i still take the tours and they take people out um so i still do it to help people um, and they don't realize that till they get here that there's somebody that can actually mm -hmm. be here and help them and understand the geology and the history um, but it's a beautiful place and i grew up here more or less so i'm the guy i'm the go-to guy for the way silver mine in lancaster county well, thank you i'll make sure to attach all the information at the end of the video once i get it done in a week or two and uh, i appreciate it thank you so sure. much no problem that's good